90. It's Sweden's answer to the likes of the German Triumph Prince, the BMW 5 Series, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and the Audi A6. But it also takes on the likes of the British with the Jaguar XF and that of the Japanese with Lexus. Now first thing that's immediately clear to me as I get into this vehicle, while we aren't messing around here, it is sublimely fantastic. You see, in the last couple of years, Volvo have spent over $11 billion perfecting their vehicles and getting them to the level that simply blows away the competition. Therefore, the new S90 feels a lot like the XC90. It is incredibly comfortable. It's also very elegant to look at. Just take a look at the styling from the outside. It's a really good looking product and it really does scream executive limousine. Now, when you have a look at it on the inside, you'll notice that the Volvo is also incredibly beautiful. Done with a kind of Swedish elegance and simplicity. You get lovely materials throughout the cabin. Everything feels nice and soft touch in here. And I love all the styling. Take a look at the steering wheel, for example. It's got the white rim on the inside and black on the outside. And it's all in keeping with the overall elegance and the beauty of this interior. I also love the grades of the woods and the soft touches throughout the cabin. In terms of multimedia, Volvo delivers everything through what they call their sensor system. The same one we looked at on the XC90 if you check out that review. And it is a brilliant system to operate. It's much like operating a tablet based PC. You simply slide left or right or up or down. So it's again that same intuitive sense of knowing how to use the system comes to you immediately if you've ever used something such as an Apple iPad. Now, when you slide to the left, you can, of course, use services such as Apple's CarPlay to literally turn this into an iPad. You can also customize your entire experience. For example, I'm going to sound settings here and set this up to sound like the Gothenburg Concert Hall. And that's all the sound beautifully delivered through the Bose and Wilkins 19 speaker system, which I have fitted on this vehicle today. Now, up front of me here in the dash, I've also got the digital instrumentation cluster it's clean, it's clear, and you can have everything from your navigation at the center of the dials. The Volvo S90 really is a very elegant car to look at, but it's also unbelievably beautiful, quiet, and comfortable here in the cabin. And when you think safety, Volvo is always at the forefront, and this new S90 takes things to new levels. See, the car has got all kinds of clever systems, and that's everything from radar guided cruise control to a system which will recognize the edge of the road where the gravel is and make sure that it keeps it from swaying off the road. Owing to a whole host of stereoscopic cameras and radar systems, it'll even pick up, for example, animals crossing. And Volvo have taken this so far that it'll pick it up based on your region. So for example, if you're up in uh, Canada, it'll pick up, for example, a moose on the road. Now, when I drove the XC90 recently, I showed you Pilot Assisted Drive. It was a frankly brilliant technology that means that the car will drive for you. If it slows down the car in front, we slow down. If the car in front speeds up, we speed up. It was completely autonomous driving. Now on this new S90, it's in its second generation and it means that it can do all of that, but at highway cruising speeds. You see, at speeds of up to 130 kilometers an hour, the Volvo literally takes over. Right now my hands aren't on the wheel, my feet aren't on the pedals, and just with the slightest touch occasionally on the steering wheel, it'll keep the system active. Now this is really amazing technology, because I've driven now many kilometers on highway cruising conditions, and the whole way I've never had such a relaxing drive. It basically is like being driven by the Volvo. Incredibly spacious and comfortable interior. That's seated up front here, all back there in the rear passenger compartment. Let me jump across and show you what I mean. It is incredibly comfortable back here. I've got loads of headroom above me and with the seat right back in my driving position, you can see this is a true executive limousine. I've also got really nice little touches here, such as this cigarette lighter in the center which obviously doubles as a 12 volt power socket, as well as this touchscreen based air conditioning control, which is very much in keeping with the clean Swedish minimalistic design. 
The S90 I'm driving today has Volvo's V5 engine, it's turbo diesel unit, and it's four cylinders, two liters in capacity. It produces 173 kilowatts of power and 418 newton meters of torque. But the amazingly clever part is it's got something which Volvo have patented here, known as power pulse technology. What this means is that as you drive along, if it uh, needs to get the turbo going, where most cars it's nothing, 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 then suddenly a shot from the turbocharger. In this case, it's using a electrical drive unit which keeps a bit of compressed air going. So at low speeds, it shoots it into the compressor and means that there is absolutely no turbo lag. This is an incredibly clever system and it really does work. If you watched my recent reviews, you saw me raving about the quality in the XC90 and just what it delivers. Well, this Volvo S90 really is an extension of that vehicle. It feels much like the XC90, but in a long wheelbase limousine style format. And it is really something exceptionally impressive. From me, Jason of Technobox, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Technobox.